thought I was joking when I said I was going to start doing mukbangs. No, I'm not. What's cool? What's groovy? What's happening? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's time for live. What's up, YouTube? So today, we have another hashtag struggle food. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, got yeah, my mayonnaise. I really, really love mayonnaise. Gonna put that. Ooh, can you see that? All oh, that goodness. I love mayonnaise. I can even eat mayonnaise on toast. Do you know how creamy that is? It is so creamy. In any case, I go. Hmm. We pray before I eat. All right, Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. May it taste very good. May all the guests take this food or anything that all me bless other people contribute to this food and all the people don't have it. In Jesus, my name, I pray. With thanksgiving, Amen. Mm hmm. This food is actually cold. Why? Because it took me forever to set up for this video. This is not easy. Here I am. I find this setup acceptable. It works. You, you don't even realize how hard it is to find a setup that's going to show your food and then show you all at the same time and have a nice decent background, which I don't have. So this is some hot sauce. And I've got some caramelized onions in there. And then some tomato ketchup and I think mayonnaise, mayonnaise again, and some chicken strips. I really should be drinking. I got this big old water bottle from Amazon. Recommended to me by a dear friend, dear sister. And in the work that we do, we don't have time to be refilling water bottles, so it is better to just have one handy at all times full and ready to go. And it's 2.2 liters. Unfortunately for me, this one has got this part. Yes, there's some lipstick there. This part is like, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of crumbling, falling apart. So I've ordered another one. But I like this one because... It's see-through. You can see the water in there. It's see-through. And I like to see the water. I like to know that mm, there's no mold. There's no weird stuff going on. They have this sleeve. But then I also like to have things without the sleeve because then you can clean it quite easily. And yeah. Because I tried putting the sleeve in the washing machine. Yeah, I am a germaphobe. I tried doing that and didn't work. Cause it started to the stitching started to come come loose. So the stitching over there. I kind of like this setup, you know. I'm not mad at it. It's kind of cool. The trick is to get lower than the food. Mm-hmm. Got my mom on deck. My mom on deck, she's on the phone. So there was a time where I was like, I'm just gonna start making loads of these. These are brioche buns. Either from Aldi or Lidl, they're the tastiest. Hmm. And I fill them with like chicken nuggets, chicken strips, whatever. I used to do hamburger, but I stopped eating beef. Hmm. So I would do that. I have like gherkins on there. And I have the chicken strips. And I'll eat this all day, every day. I'll even make it like a packed lunch situation. Exhibit A. But then, starting getting fat. Obviously. So yeah, I would need to stop that. I need to find something else. Something else that's quick. Lactose free. And nutritious. And more with veggies. Because just having a few onions in there, ain't it? But to be honest, once I found these brioche buns, I stopped buying burgers in restaurants because I was like, it's a scam. 
literally 12 pounds. I don't know. Unfortunately, lost a lot of footage here, and mom's not in any of the footage in the next few minutes, but she's there at the end. All right, we've had a bit of a glitch. Um, the phone stopped responding, and yeah. Sponsor your girl, mine needs to get a camera. Okay, boom, here we are. So, what I was trying to talk about was food ban on public transport. Um, that, that was a video that I did. I did it. They were, they were gonna, they were talking about banning food on public transport because obviously they said that you know people eating on public transport would kind of entice other people to eat poorly or whatever or to eat more. Or, I don't know, it was some nonsense. So I did a video on it. I don't think that's what's making people fat. I think things like these mukbangs are making people fat because exhibit A, me. I know that I watched the mukbang. Somebody was eating a heap of um, fried chicken. A heap of fried chicken. So what did I have to do? The same day or the next day. Can you guess what I went to do? I went to buy a heap of fried chicken. I sat here and added like a mukbanger. That's the problem right now. Mukbangers are making people fat. And especially because they're not showing any healthy foods. It's all like foods that people would have on their cheat day. But they're making it seem like mm -mm, you can eat this every day of the week. It doesn't matter. Every day. And some of them are so skinny, but nobody knows what their heart is doing. So I'm just like, uh uh. I need to sweat it up. I need to stop all this. I need real good food. You know what I'm craving right now? Roasted potatoes. Some asparagus on the side. And then with a nice chicken breast or something that would be amazing I think we also need more people who are just keeping it real they make heaps of food to make an amazing thumbnail to make it seem very appetizing but no one person can eat all that food and when they don't I just start pe seeing people putting it in containers for the next day's lunch because I hope these people are not wasting food out here. That would be so sad. like mics close to their mouth so you can hear them chew kind of like ASMR style by the way even the Tabasco sauce I only bought because I saw that's another thing these people eating they already have something in their mouth and they're not focused on just eating that I'm being done with it. Nope. You're ready to look at what nice piece they're gonna eat. That's weird too. That's called gluttony, man. That's that stuff that when you do it as a kid, your parents be like, hey, hello. Take it easy on the food. Don't eat like that. Have some manners. You know? All the manners are going out of the window. So, what did I see in the news? Kids are struggling. Kids are struggling really hard with reading, with maths and all the rest of it. A lot of it is to do because of these devices. You don't really need to know how to do maths. You just need to know where to go in your phone. In terms of literacy and stuff, we've changed the language so much that anything goes. You know, 
punctuation, comma, you know. Wait, comma is punctuation. Is it? It's part of the whole punctuation clan, isn't it? You see. Anywho, so yeah, all of that. We're losing it all. Wait, what was I talking about? Whoa. Uh -huh. So we're losing everything that our parents taught us that we were taught in school. Losing every single thing. Manners, like every the, the foundation hmm, of what you try to teach your kid quick before they learn it elsewhere or before they learn the bad version of it. You try to teach your kid quick. We are unlearning all these things all because of social media. That is scary. In any case, what was I going to say? I was talking about the Tabasco, yeah. It was actually Troy's TV that I was watching, and he has Tabasco with everything. And then he had a huge pile of chicken wings, and then I was like, yeah, the next day I was like, I need me some chicken wings. And I sat here and ate like half a pack or whatever. First, normally I wouldn't do that. But because you see Mukbang is just eating heaps and heaps of chicken. I mean, we've seen that already with like KFC and stuff like that. You know, the buckets are there, so people do eat that in one go. Not me, not I. But yeah. Not so crazy. See, can you see him? Hmm. Have you seen him? Um. That was a few weeks ago. You had like a bucket of 20 pieces for like $5.99. It was so cheap because usually that's like 17 pounds or whatever. Or even 20 pounds it's very expensive big chunky chicken wings it wasn't even only chicken wings well it's just like chicken or uh, assortment of chicken in a box i was like wow but then you go to sainsbury's and you go like after seven to try and catch some deals and i kid you not like literally the food that's supposed to be supposed to be reduced was going off that day or is going up the next day. The salads and stuff. The salad is all like this. Did and then these people up there. Oh, that's a tie. You still charge two pounds. I'll be like, what's three ninety-five? Now it's two pounds. What? Y'all can't even sell healthy stuff that's gone bad for cheap. We want people out here selling twenty chicken wings for five ninety-nine. Y'all bugging. That's a whole chicken and his whole family in the bucket. Hmm. I'm gonna kill that thing, skin that thing, everything. Okay, let me not get too graphic, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right. Hmm. Hmm. So, what that means is that that's really crazy. But anyway, yeah, I know if you look at it like that, I couldn't even get a bucket of veggies like that for $5.99. Impossible! That's what people say. They eat all the nonsense because it's cheaper. But it's not cheaper in the long run when you're going to the doctor all the time. checkups and treatments and such believe it or not my mom is still on the line and she has fallen asleep child so it's just me and as I was saying a hundred years ago I was saying that it sounded like people had mics like just up here or something like that when they were doing these mukbangs You can really hear them chewing, 
swallowing, slacking, so loud. But I don't actually think that's always the case. Because when I watched my first mukbang video, I was like, huh? So why is it that you can hear me chewing so loud when I'm so far away from the thing? From my phone. I record with my phone. Because my camera broke. Yeah. And who's y'all? Hmm. <laughs> She's back, y'all. I was talking about you. <laughs> Guess you'll never know. Till you watch the video. <laughs> Make sure you check out Young Kingler. Woo. More info in the description box below. Make sure you. Sam, I didn't go away from. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to say sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> what? Every day, I'm going to do it today. You are mean. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this? So now you've seen my interesting mom who don't give a hoot what just happened to me. Okay. I I don't even really know what just happened to me, but my knee was doing some weird stuff. Anywho. Um Yeah. This video was brought to you by God. G O D Hellman's Mayonnaise. Tabasco. <clears throat> Not sponsored, though, so let's get those out of the way. Okay, make sure you hit bump. Oh. <laughs> 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 make sure you hit that Azoto bell. <laughs> what? Bellies, y'all, but when you find it, hit that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, <coughs> who we been trying to end this video for the last four minutes? Okay, here we go. Make sure you hit bump stomp as often well as subscribe bell and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. Make time for glorious life, it's time to start what leaving it right. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Bye. Say bye.